So hello everybody, it is Friday, so it's time for another Tax Fridays, a new tax function every Friday. In today's Tax Fridays, we are going to talk about the difference between Calculate and Calculate Table. You've asked me this many, many times, so it's time to make a video about it. So let's get started. Okay guys, there is a fundamental difference between Calculate and Calculate Table. Um, the main difference is basically that Calculate returns a number well, calculate table returns a table. That's why I call it calculate table. And I have a video where I explain what is the difference between the scholar functions and table functions and other functions like user relationship and stuff. Go and check it out if you're a little bit unsure. It will definitely help you with this video. But I'm going to demonstrate it anyway. So what do I mean that something returns a value or a table? So let's say, for example, that I want to calculate the sales for uh, queso cabrales, obviously. What would we calculate it for? So we're going to say queso cabrales sales, right? And you've done this a thousand times. You go and use calculate and then sales. This is the sum of sales ish. This is the Northman data set. It's a little bit different. And then you say product name is our wonderful queso cabrales, right? Queso cabrales. Wonderful. So you put it on your canvas. We're going to put it as a card. So we see the number. It says 13.9,000. And you can see here that I have their products, Queso Cabrales, 13.9 on point. So calculate it, return a number. Now, if you put this measure into a table, it will return a value. Let me show you. If we put here product name and then we put here sales, Queso Gabriel says it will return the same number for all the products. Why would it do that? Because calculate does that. What it does is it says if it hard codes the filter on product name. So no matter what you put in here, it will always give you the same value. Go to the calculate functions to understand more about that. So perfect. Okay, so what's the difference between that and calculated table? Let's try to do the same with calculated table. New measure. We're going to use queso cabrales sales with calculated table. And we're going to put calculate uh, table. And then it says you need a table, which is our all details. And then it says, okay, give me a filter. The filter will be product name equal to our queso cabra, cabrales. There you go. And then it says the expression refers to multiple columns. Multiple columns cannot be converted to a scalar value. There are two things going on here. Number one, a measure returns only one value. Then if you put it in a table and it returns you one value per row, it's another thing. <laughs> Otherwise, measure returns one value without any filter. It says here that there are multiple columns to start with, and then you cannot put multiple columns into a value. What's going on? What this thing is creating, calculate table, is a table, not a scalar value. How do you see that? Let's copy the same thing, but we're going to do a table. This is a table, not a measure. So you will see what is being created, basically. And best thing to do, DAX. See what's going on. Let me remove that. This is exactly the same expression, but this time it's going to create a table. Let me let me show you the table that it created. We have table two. This is the table with the multiple columns. Now you can see that. You can see we have order ID, product ID, queso cabrales, 11, and then unit price, blah, blah, blah. And this table cannot be put into a measure. It just doesn't work. <laughs> it is the way it works. Measures is color values, table to table. So what do you do? Does it mean that you cannot put this as a in a measure? Yes, of course you can. Let's go back to our broken measure. Here you have it. Now, what you need to do here, what we want to do is the same, the sum of all the sales for queso cabral. So you might say, okay, I can put here sum. The issue with sum, you can see it here. Sum allows only for a column. 
not a table. So you cannot use sum, but you can though use, some, for example, sum x. You could do this. You could use sum x of in the table that it was created that I show you right now, then do the sum of sales. And these will create a measure with calculated table that will give you the exact same thing as calculate. Okay, so which one to use, which one performs better? The world is an oyster, who knows? It's like a chocolate box of chocolate. Depending on a lot of things, things will perform different, difficult to know, but if you are having troubles, just test both and see what works for you. Obviously, most of the time you're going to use calculate, you're used to that, but this is the difference. This is the main difference between calculate and calculate table. One returns a value, the other one returns a table. So. I hope this was useful and it clarifies a little bit more what's going on with DAX and how things they can do this to actually visualize what DAX is doing in the background, okay? So this is all for today. I hope you enjoy the week. And here is the video to the uh, scholar versus stable versus other functions. So if you want to check it out, do that. And I will see you again on Monday as always. So take care and bye-bye.